Welcome to the Summer Games Olympics. From now until June 14th, a new game will be hosted in this newly built Olympic Stadium. These games will have technic and motor functions. This stadium is built on two base plates. This week's game is rugby, which we will now research. I am researching the Olympic rugby because I don't know much about it currently, but I need to figure out what it's about. So right here, it says that it's the fast-paced rugby sevens format, which was introduced into the Olympic Games program at the 2016 Rio Olympics. So it's different from the traditional type of tile sport, which is like where you escape the ball from like the other team and get it on your side. So I'm going to take it like that and add like football sense to it kind of because I don't know much about rugby and I want to go full intense on figuring out what rugby is because I feel like it wouldn't be that fun just to go in depth. I feel like I just want to get into the building. But in rugby sevens, it says that only seven players are allowed on the field. So I'm going to have seven f players on the field, which it might be crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but I don't know for sure that I'm going to have seven. I might have like three or four for each team or something, or even one, because I know there is a collectible minifigure for this. So let's plan this out. This is the deal. nine volt motor that I'll be using. It does not have too much power, but has enough to get the job done. It is great for using stuff like this. I've used it in the past to make motored vehicles for fun. I think this would be great as t for it because I don't have anything high geared enough to get the job done. And then this is what I'll be using to control it. It's great for this. And I might try and use like sound motions or something and then throw lights throughout this build. But it's going to turn out cool. I'm going to try to get it out to go that way and turn up so I can get that done too and be able to connect it to the rugby function it's gonna be very fun to use so i'll show you the finished product now let's go and see that product this is the final product of the rugby match so this is a collectible lego minifigure i believe from series nah, 20 or 19 i believe it is 19 then i have this pick a brick minifigure whose name is bob and he'll be competing in all of the matches. So this is how it turned out so far. So far, I'm I have like this entire base. It's built out bricks, so it's flat, and so I can fit motor functions underneath and still have it so that I can have them popping out and be able to run on this. Then I have these like fork kind of things. There's another thing in the middle to throw it with. I like how, like, the base turned out. I think it's cool. I would have liked it to fit in, like, underneath the grass bit a little bit more. So it's not too compact. But I feel like it's turned out good so far. Out of the ways I've been making it. So, now let's turn on the motor. Now let's turn this thing on. So this is what we'll be using to control it. This one is turning it on. This one makes you go back. These have nothing that can go work right now. As you can see, they don't do anything. You can just hear the motor run, running. So right now, I'm gonna use this. I'll show you what I do. And like the side over here. So I'm gonna use the motor like this. So you can like spin the minifigure. You can have them like twist different ways to like get the ball away from each other. So if I can use this, this makes it go um, that way. Then this makes it go back. So I feel like I did a pretty good job designing this. And I like how it's turned out so far. I would critique a little bit more about this, but I like how it's turned out so far. So, this is going to be it for this Olympic video. I'm going to have one after this next week on Friday. So, come for that one. And I'll see you next time.